A majority of those without internet access have no access to books and other reading materials. Library, library. Internet actually it is not everywhere. It is just in cyber cafes where you have must have money so that you can activate the internet. Resource centers are outdated. This facility has helped many youths because we find that we can learn uh, how to access the computer and can learn many subjects through the computer instead of using the books. As I was brought up, we were not used to use some internet to interview to learn, but since the, the specialist came in, for me it's an easy time to search and get the information very fast. When I get anything in the internet, I don't visit the library because it gives me the all information I need. I am well informed. Uh, I've learned a lot from the websites. Uh, in my teaching career, I've really gotten a lot of insight in the courses that I teach. There is no any other place that I can get more information on Taekwondo. So this kiosk has helped me because there is no library. This strikes the rural agricultural sector hardest. There are places uh, in our rural area that they do not have internet connectivity at all, at all. We need that service in the rural area. Awana, na kuna ile mambo mambo nataka kujua kwa comp. Sasa kwa zimulifanya vizuri mkaile tapo, kuna wala wanaka mkuitumia sasa. But I mean, if the internet goes to the rural areas, it would really help in the growth of education a lot. Over 75% of the population of sub-Saharan Africa is employed in some way by the agricultural sector. Even the books that we have in the town centers are not really available for the rural setup. And with the internet, they'll be able to browse and get to the deeper roots of education. I think there needs to be sensitization on how to go about it. But it would really help the teachers, the students, and the rural community at large. Yet less than 4% of the international development budget target this critical field. Youth who had previously have been employed in agriculture are finding less arable land available as family properties have been subdivided and sold. As the youth population in Sub-Saharan Africa do not have adequate access to information and education, they find difficulty in gaining employment. The quality of rural primary education tends to be low with few resources divided by an ever-growing population. They depend on the donors who donate like two computers to each school and uh, it's not enough because we are in, a, in, a, in one school you can find like 400 students. They cannot share two computers. It's hectic. We need computers with internet because they're easier, the work of the teacher, the workload. So when the kiosk was put up, it was a, a, a big incentive because it helped my students to practice. I was sitting internet with only one computer. I was looking for a book, that Michelle Blunt's book, morning, night, and, and evening. I wanted to know its preview, yeah. so I visited the website. I've used the internet facility to open my email and to browse on the Google about education, about the science, something to do with the studies in chemistry, physics, and biology. I usually search Google about geographical mobilities, especially in, in geography. I use the internet to, to learn. For example, when last, like last week I had an exam and I had to search more information on the internet about getting like timekeeping. Uh, yes, my life has changed because I am an, an, I am an aspiring musician and an actor. So most of the time, I spend my time looking for websites which can help me build my character so that I can reach for my goals. I do do a bit of research, so I go to the research topics in the Google and educational materials. For example, 60% of the population of Kenya are between the ages of 15 and 35. The growing youth population comprises 61% of the unemployed. And of the 13 million youth, only 50% are expected 
to be employed in economic activities in the formal, informal, and public sectors, while the rest remain unemployed. One of the major things was to use the internet and do the long distance uh, courses because we were just using what we call the internal uh, gradings and one very good for our students because they're not that uh, marketable when they go outside. So I opted to try and do uh, courses from other colleges and to do that we need an internet connection. I'm studying hairdressing. I've browsed through the pages and I've looked about massaging, hairstyling and even relaxing hair. It's useful for my career. My main job here is to help those who are illiterate to reach their destination on where they are browsing. Basically what I use to promote my work is YouTube, which is internet. I promote my work countrywide and outside my country worldwide. Those who are able to attain land are also in need of education to maximize their crop yield and to create alternative income generation capacities to shield themselves against crop failure. With access to information and education, the youth have access to opportunities. So I was looking for the advantages and disadvantages of media. So I had them and I, I was so very happy because it was useful to me. Our goal is to install 2,000 bricks within villages throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. We need to concentrate on educating them, but this can be the primarily approach to, to that. If the population of each village is estimated at 10,000 people, and a quarter of the villagers choose to learn to use the computers and the internet, 12.5 million people will be introduced into the information society within one year. You get info every time you go to the internet. You, get, you can get access to info as you want. It's like flexible kind of info where you can get. Knowledge development can be defined as the process of changing attitudes and mindsets towards learning new things. Well, the internet has changed my life in many ways because since I learned how to use the computer and learned how to use the internet, it's taken like most of everything that I've been doing as an instructor, I've been getting most of my materials from the internet. So it's been like a key role in my pre preparation for my lesson plans and the course content of what I'm going to teach. As rural people begin to understand how the use of a computer and the internet are beneficial to their lives, they will begin to accumulate the knowledge that is necessary for them to approve their socioeconomic status. If I want to upgrade my skills and I, I want to know what the people on the outside world are doing and I want to know how I can get to their level. So that's why I go normally sometimes in YouTube. I would love to steal skills from the internet. The change in the rural people's attitudes towards technology is the first step in knowledge development. After their mindsets change, the rural people desire to learn about information technologies. Yeah, I can get any kind of information that I want to search on. I believe that I'll be one time in the national team of Taekwondo in Kenya. Just sana taka kufungua. So sa venye min me fundishwa, I have pia min eza wosha venye venye nilianza ivo. The future will be bright. I like to become a ITC the the one for computer, and I've really learned much in the computer. They will be more connected and more informed of what is happening throughout the world. Information, once absorbed, becomes knowledge, and knowledge is power.